right, so next, what I'm going to do, I'm going I'm to explain how somebody advances and grows within our company. Um, and ultimately, there's a lot of people that I talk to, whether it be on interviews or you know, just, just talking to you guys um, a little bit about your goals. You, one of the big things that comes up is, is people want freedom, they want independence, they want more control over their life. And here's how somebody earns independence, control, freedom within our business. So let's let this, lot, this side be independence, control, and in order to have more independence and more, more control in your career here at Blue Chip Endeavors, one thing that we believe in is you have to be willing to take on more responsibility. And so, and, and the, the curve goes like this. So, you know, once it gets going, it's a pretty steep curve. But, uh, you know, the, the, the thing that I would compare it to is when, you know, each of you guys turned 16, um, you know, did you guys all get your license at 16? Yeah. Okay. What did you experience as, as far as independence and control goes? So much more. <laughs> you had so much more independence, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had so much con more control, more freedom. And what did it also come with? A lot more responsibility. A lot more responsibility. Did anybody have like a car payment or anything like that that they had to do? Yep. Car accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had my car payment. But you're also responsible for not only yourself, but you're responsible to make sure that you're 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 following the the laws. Um, you're doing the right things as far as other drivers on the road. Um, so you, it comes with a lot of responsibility. And if you don't if you don't take that responsibility. And uh, you, you're like, I'm not going to be responsible with this. Then what happens? You lose your license. You lose your license, or you lose independence and control, right? Yeah. So you know the same thing is true in our business. This this is very little independence and control. This is the area where there's very little independence and control. Um, this is somebody who, and, and this is okay in some businesses, but not in ours. This is somebody who comes in. And they're just going through the motions. They're going through the motions. And what do you think, if they're just going through the motions, what do you think their results look like? Minimal or average. 500 a week. <laughs> yeah, they're not doing very good, right? Yeah, yeah. So do you think they have a lot of independence, control, and freedom? No. No, of course not. So, um, Really what we're looking for is for somebody to take responsibility for themselves more than just showing up. So, and the first thing that we look for is for somebody to take control of their attitude. So it's important that somebody not only shows up, but they show up with a great attitude. And I think that's the first part. And, and especially for somebody who's new to our business, that's what I would say is, you know, don't, don't just show up, but show up with a great attitude. That's going to take you a long way within our business, mm -hmm. and it's going to allow you to, to do number two. You can't, get, you can't take the next step without coming in with a great attitude. And the second part of this is taking responsibility for your results. So you take responsibility for the attitude that you show up with, and then you take responsibility for your results. And I think that's extremely important. Um, as you're taking responsibility for yourself that you do both of these. And then the third part of this is taking responsibility for your own personal development. And that's important because I think it's just as important, you know, that somebody develops professionally, or sorry, I'm, I'm, I think it's just as important for somebody to develop themselves personally as they do professionally. And I think they both have to work together in order for somebody to really grow and advance themselves. So, um, you know, after somebody's you know coming coming in with a great attitude, they're showing up with a great attitude, they're getting results. Then they're starting to develop themselves personally. Maybe they got some financial habits that they need to uh, they, they need to work on. Um, maybe they need to dress more professionally, whatever the case may be. But they're working on their personal development. That allows them to take this next step and experience more independence, control, and freedom. 
by also taking that next step and, and starting to take responsibility for others. So we can only go so far if we only take responsibility for ourselves and we never take responsibility for others. So, uh, Andy, do you, do you eat steak? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so how do you like your steak prepared? Medium well. Medium well? Okay. So you like a medium well steak. Uh, let's say the, the waiter comes to your table and they're taking your order, you're ordering your steak medium well. They come back with your food and it's bleeding all over the plate. <laughs> what are you, you going to do, Andy? I'm going to tell him to cook it a little longer. Okay. Yeah. You're going to send it back. What if the waiter... I mean, if it's a little pink, then I'll eat it, but... Yep. What if the waiter or the waitress says, Hey, you know what? I told him you wanted it medium well, uh, so it's not my fault that it came out like this. Uh, you're just going to have to eat it. What would you say? I would just leave at that point. You would just leave? Yeah. I would probably I've talk to the manager. Before, actually. <laughs> I would probably talk to the manager or the owner if the owner was available. <laughs> And so, you know, what if, uh, what if the owner comes back and, and uh, you're obviously frustrated, you said, you know, hey, this isn't how I ordered it, you know, your waiter said he wasn't taking responsibility for it, and the owner says, hey, you know what, I didn't take your order, and I didn't cook your steak, so I'm not responsible either. How would you feel at that point? You would probably never go back to that no. restaurant again, right? So... It's the same thing in, in business. In order to have a great business, we have to take responsibility for other people, right? Not just for our own, ourselves and for our own uh, you know, attitude, results, and personal development, but now taking that step next to say, I'm gonna take responsibility for other people's attitudes. I'm gonna make sure that they come in with a great attitude you know, it starts with me, but I'm, gonna, I'm also going to take responsibility for other people's attitudes and how they come in each day and how excited they are to be here each day. And the next step is taking responsibility for other people's results. I think that's extremely important. Not just saying, oh, they just, they just had a bad day. Um, saying, okay, they had a bad day. You know, we're going to fix it. You know, we're going to figure out what it is. We're going to fix it. We're going to make sure they get results today. Right? And then the last part of this is other people's personal development. So making sure that they're not only coming in with great attitude, that they're getting results, but they're also personally developing as well. So, and really once somebody masters that, they're on their way to amazing freedom, amazing independence, amazing control within within our business and that's where somebody has the opportunity to really take on an entrepreneurial venture with us so does anybody have any questions on on this so what's the what's the name of the game then if you if somebody wants to grow and experience a ton of freedom and independence within our business responsibility taking on taking on new responsibilities all the time you know even if you're a little bit unsure about taking on that next responsibility Guess what? Face your fears, take it on, nope. let's get after it, right? Nope. Cool. So, awesome.